This video is similar to our previous video that discusses how to create a single badge per plate. However, we are now going to have a large sheet of material loaded into the machine, and multiple badges will be engraved on this material. Further, we will show how, in the case where there is unused space on a sheet, we can use plate objects to fill this unused material. So as our starting point, we are using the multi-line engraving plate that we previously created in the multi-line engraving plate video. Note that this design measures 6 inches width by 2 inches height. From the edit menu, choose Select All to ensure that the entire design has been selected. Now choose Layout Menu, Badges to open the Badge Setup dialog. Set Custom Size to On and then set the height and width to 12 by 12 because this represents the size of material, in this example, that has been loaded into the machine. Set the Use Plate checkbox to On. Above the Use Plate checkbox, the drop list is used to create score lines or crop marks along the border of each badge. However, the score lines and crop mark options are older badge features, and instead you want to use the Plate Object option. Plate objects will automatically score the border of each badge, and they allow us to add additional plates of variable size after we have created our initial set of badges. In the Page Preview area, note the arrangement of badges that will be engraved to the sheet of material. This preview shows that, on the final sheet of material, only two badges will be engraved. In Text Compose, we previously set margins for the text field, so the margins here can be left at zero. We are okay with having our badges being flush with each other, so the spacing can remain at zero. For text that can be replaced, note the lines here that correspond to the initial badge design, which we had created in the previous video. In our design, we had used meaningful text that described what each line represents. For lines that we want to be variable, we click to highlight them. We want to replace this text using a text file that was provided by the customer. Enable the Replacement Data File checkbox to On, and then click the Browse button to choose the text file. As an alternative to text data, note that the data file can also be a spreadsheet file. Also note that we chose Tab Key because the fields within our text file are tab delimited, as opposed to the other delimiters that are possible. Notice that the number of copies has been set to 26 because we have this many entries within the data file. As we see here, this gives us 12 copies per page for a total of 3 pages. Click OK to close the Badge Setup dialog. The Text Substitution dialog will now display the text data that was loaded, so that you can review the data before creating badges. This data looks fine, so we can proceed with clicking OK. On the workspace, we now have three pages of badges arranged on the plate size. We can inspect each page using the Sheet Page palette, where we observe that the third sheet has leftover space that we can now fill using plate objects. From the Layout menu, choose Plate Object, Create Plate. The Plate Object controls will appear in the Smart Bar. You'll recognize these controls as being similar to what were on the Badge Setup dialog such as the width and height, the spacing between plates, and the margins. For our design, we need four plates that have a width of 10 inches and a height of 2.5 inches. To create our plates, we click Apply, which fills the remainder of the page. If we create more plates than would fit, then additional pages will be created in the Sheet Page palette. For the plates that we created, we add text by choosing the Text Compose tool and then clicking each plate to add text. Notice that, after I have added my text, I can apply my toolpath settings. 